Hey, what's going on? This is uh, Chris from, it still is Chris's life in an RV. Um, kind of haven't did a video in a while. I'm sorry, I've been busy. Haven't really worked on the building that much lately and everything and kind of had a lot going on. I went to court a while back and it's been continued, but that's nothing no, no, normal. It's always normal. But it, some stuff is changing there. Um, the truck went down a while back. So um, bearings went out in it. So I bought another truck. My dad bought a truck to pull the motor out of. It's um, this one right here. It was wrecked. Over Thanksgiving break, we took the bumper off. We cut the hood open. I took the fender off. Here's some of the parts. I mean, this kid swears up down. He hit a... Hit a suburban. He did that right there to it. So that's the impact. I mean, that was just a pain in the butt to get off. We're kind of just going to tear this down, and I'm going to do today. Start working on getting the shop cleaned out. <clears throat> start working on this area right here. I mean, it's just overdue time. It's just been full of stuff. Kind of. Clean all this stuff out. And this get this door. My main, my main thing is to get this door to open. So we can pull this out. I'm gonna drive my truck over, park it in here, and stuff like that. And kind of work over there. Over there, I might mark, put some stuff in my RVs. In my RV, it's kind of warm. It's finally warming up out. So. And everything and I went to church today and getting motivated to do some work and kind of go from there and kind of kind of give you guys an idea of what it was what it looks like in here here's the stuff all up here but I stored all my all stuff right. like I said that this is where I stored all my stuff and uh I had just stuff sitting here and a microwave of course had a hot plate I never used this is where my bed was I took it kind of apart so I could uh, use it at my house basically my entertainment center was right there here's my closet and everything and I've been working outside here I just found a pair of batteries so, basically, all I got done so far, oh, I think I got batteries now that'll work. Alright, we got the truck out. If you can't tell, it's all pretty much out of here. So I gotta start cleaning a little bit more. That's where my truck will go. Got stuff everywhere. Gotta... Watch your caddy shack first. Um, basically got wood I pulled out of the trash a long time ago. A little bit of everything in here if you can't tell. I got my, my 47 sitting right there. Eventually someday I'll work on. I'm going to start kind of cleaning up right here. Kind of work all the way back kind of do a little this and that and put my bench there on something and uh, everything see if I can't so that's what we're going to be working on
not light. Let's see if I can back it up here. by yourself, if I was anybody trying to do a do-it-yourself project here. for it. So basically, I ain't gonna work. You can see what I'm getting out. I get my stand out from under it. Go and brought it home. I'm not saying I'm a hoarder, but shoot, it was in the trash, and co worker gave it to me, said I could have it. So I'm gonna finish this and then give you an idea. What we'll see what it looks like after I get done. If you can't tell, we got, got my truck in here. It's not the prettiest sight, but it's in at an angle. I got more room over here. To walk through and it's tight over here I mean, everything had to be right. pushed. everything had to be pushed a little bit this way I knocked stuff over on accident when I was bringing it in I bumped something I couldn't see but I think we're right up against the table that's mirror butt I brought one on my truck. My book is exactly $20,000 worth of repair. That's pretty good. See, get back here. See how. Yeah, see, I hit the door. I gotta pull that forward. Pull that door out of there. And everything. And basically. A little work here and there. I'll have this shop cleaned back up. But it's in here and it's basically as far back as I can get it, this one. Okay, I can see I gotta come over to this side. I pushed it back as far as I could since this truck's a little bit bigger than the old style and this shop was built for. Back here, look. There. There we go. Let's see, I mean it's a typical shop. It's nothing nothing fancy yet. So uh get some more work done here and Today, I don't have to worry tomorrow, which I did, but that's a part of life. 
but I'm not going to put nothing here. Try not to. If I do, I'll put it under the truck, under here, like under. So, uh, yeah, let's take the hood all open. I mean, this is going to be kind of a video set. Let's see what I'm going to do is basically. Oh, yeah. That's good because I'm going to do is pull it, loosen it, and loosen it here. Pull this whole, probably pull the bumper off and everything and I'll pull the, well, the start pulling the motor apart a couple, next weekend or so and everything and then see my plan is on this truck this truck here is basically do the same thing just pull the pull this fender off and then Pull the whole front end apart. Everything you see, I mean, you can't really tell. I don't know if you can tell, but the fan's pretty much shoved up against it. So maybe I'll work on this a little tomorrow. And everything, and I don't know yet what I'm gonna do. But this is basically our train's coming through. I'm kind of one of those do-it-yourself kind of people. I tried this. This was a trailer we had in the yard. I helped built. I built that. Help built.